Spiders are horrible, eight-legged, bazillion-eyed creatures of human nightmares. If you like spiders, you've forgotten that they tried to eat Frodo and Harry Potter. And yet scientists insist upon telling us that spiders are just misunderstood. Here's why you shouldn't kill spiders in your house. Spiders pest control for free. According to Science Daily, spiders consume between 400 million and 800 million tons of insects every single year. They eat flies, earwigs, cockroaches, and those obnoxious moths that leave holes in your sweaters. But scientists say you shouldn't kill that terrifying eight-legged thing climbing all over your walls as you try to eat breakfast. Why on earth not, you're probably wondering. Well, it's because spiders do a great job at controlling pests. Thanks so much, you helpful, totally horrific thing. They don't want to hurt you. Prepare to have your world shattered. Spiders aren't actually all that aggressive with humans. In fact, they tend to avoid people, so it's unlikely you'll ever meet the majority of spiders that lurk inside your home. That was intended to be a comforting thought. We swear. Sure, the Sydney funnel-web spider has been known to attack people and its fangs are sharp enough to cut through leather. But if you don't live in Australia, you almost definitely have nothing to worry about. We said almost. Fearing spiders is silly. In a 2014 Wired article entitled, I promise spiders are not trying to kill you, entomologist Gwen Pearson suggests our fear of spiders is irrational. Your mind tends to exaggerate the size, speed, and intentions of things you're afraid of. So when you see a tiny spider, your brain might process it as a monstrous 20-ton killing machine. In fact, your fear of spiders is a learned behavior. You don't fear spiders because we're programmed to fear spiders. You're afraid of spiders because your parents were terrified of them. Basically, science is telling you to get over yourself because your fear of spiders is stupid. <sighs> nice attitude, science. Spiders are clean. No, really. Spider webs might get messy, but arachnologists want you to know that spiders themselves are actually quite clean. In fact, they even groom themselves, since any debris on their legs could cause them to get caught in their own webs, which would be embarrassing. But spider bites can get infected, right? Well, according to Science Daily, bacterial infections from spider bites are quite uncommon. Blame your doctor if your arm needs to be amputated because of that. Quote, spider bite. A recent study found that out of 182 patients claiming to have spider bites, only about 4% actually did. Most of the other patients had skin infections. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Everything about you is changing. Don't just take them outside. Before you take that spider outside, totally secure in the knowledge that you're doing Mother Nature a solid, consider this. There are some species of spider that actually evolved to live inside, and they won't survive in the great outdoors. Of course, many species positively thrive outside. Arania eczema! According to Mother Nature News, about 95% of the spiders you find in your house didn't wind up there by accident. They were born and raised in your home, and they've never been outside at all. In other words, that spider you just scooped up in newspaper and gently released on your porch doesn't have much of a chance at survival. Now, who's the monster? Will you check under my bed? You were just having a bad dream. You're fighting a losing battle. Now we come to the final reason you shouldn't eradicate the spiders in your house. Like a bug caught in a spider's web, you're fighting a losing battle. According to the Sydney Morning Herald, the goal is, quote, pest control, not pest eradication. Whether you stomp them, spray them, or wash them down the sink, they'll just keep coming back. <laughs> Ah! 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 
but perhaps you'll take comfort in this little fact. You're not alone. A 2016 survey of 50 homes in North Carolina found that every single one of them contained spiders. The average home reportedly hosted around 100 different species of arthropod, the group that includes both spiders and insects. Surely all those spiders hiding in every dark corner of your home must be doing something positive, right? For now, let's listen to the entomologists until they start telling us we should start letting cockroaches live in our homes too. Yeah! 